Hi, I'm Josh. Thanks for tuning in to Geek On Review YouTube Reviews. Um, I just received today my uh, Saber Forge Gladius Warrior Edition lightsaber. It's still in the box. It took a little bit longer to ship than I would have liked. It was supposed to ship in two weeks. It took a little bit longer than that. Once it did ship, though, it got here really fast. So I'm going to open it up. It's taped really well. Very sturdy packaging. So this might take a minute. All right, I've got it open. I used an exacto knife, and there's the blade. It's got the the pointed blade, just like uh, the other one we got here. This one here, we ordered. I forget what uh, what this lightsaber is called, but this got here. We ordered it on the 10th, I think, and it came on the 14th. It came in four days. Really fast shipping on this one. It's purple, nice and bright. Here's the hilt. I'm excited to see this. The Gladius um, lightsaber is actually based on a lightsaber from uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Alright, the very first thing I'm seeing here, it came with a cover tech wheel. The other one we ordered didn't. I had to order one from the website. But uh, right away, I'm very glad the CoverTech wheel is included. It's got the leather grip here. Real leather. It smells real good. And as kids, there's a real kind of heavy feel to it. It feels good. It comes with a blade plug. And batteries already installed, which was not the case with the other one. Um, I'm going to install the blade on this, and I'll be back in a second to see how bright it is. I found the Allen wrench. I'm going to put it in here. One quick turn and the, uh, the, blade plug, plug, the blade plug comes out. I'm going to slide the, the blade down in there. Give that a tighten. And that's pretty bright. See, it's really bright down here at the bottom, and then it kind of dims as it gets toward the top. But one thing I want to do is compare this to the brightness of the Force Effects Luke Skywalker uh, lightsaber and see what how they uh, they differ, how they compare. Let's see, I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, um, the Saber Forge is much brighter down toward the bottom. But the dimming at the top there, it's considerably different. This one is even all the way up. Although, one thing I will say is if you look closely, it's like you can see the LEDs throughout the, uh, the blade or something. It's the colors uneven for some reason. I don't know why. And this, it just kind of, on the Saber Forge, it just kind of gradually dims as it gets to the top. Can you uh, kill the light there? Both of them? I want to see it in the dark. There. Look at that. That's awesome. Now this one doesn't have sound or flash on clash or anything like that. This is the Warrior Edition. It's just uh, no frills. Because um, we're just going to be using it for trooping. So it doesn't have to have any of the sound or anything like that. Just for posing for pictures at the convention. We're going to Celebration 7 in Anaheim, my girlfriend and I. And these will be the lightsabers we're wielding. I totally forgot. Um, one of the things on the reviews of Saber Forge that I've read prior is uh, the machining. A lot of times I, I've heard complaints that uh, there's burrs along the edges. One thing I want to say is this is a very clean Saber. It looks like it's been wiped down. There's no sharp edges here. There's no burrs or anything like that. This is a very clean Saber. The same thing with the other one here. No sharp edges. Nothing I want to cut myself on. Anything like that. And of course, we got the weathered look on this one. The other thing I've heard on the, of the weathered sabers is you run your hand across it and your hand comes out black. Nothing. This is a very clean saber. Good weathered look. High quality. I would highly recommend Saber Forge after the two that I've bought. I will buy again. 